Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about somatic mindful exercises to reduce stress and anxiety. Welcome to Pharmacist Michael's Happy Healthy Living Channel, where you will learn how to improve your life one video at a time. Can somatic mindfulness exercise help you? Are they hard to learn? What are the benefits? Mindfulness has become a popular subject for therapists as well as those seeking self-help ideas to treat anxiety disorders and to decrease stress and frustration of daily living. The COVID-19 outbreak has increased interest even more. Mindfulness is the ability to be present in the moment without judgment, paying attention to the simple things that we often take for granted. It is an amazingly simple idea that can really pay off. In this video, I'm gonna explain a few somatic mindfulness exercises that you can do to help control anxiety and improve mental health. These are simple to do and, as with most everything else, practice makes perfect. If you work on these regularly, you will find them to be very useful. Let's talk about CALM, a scan of your body. This is something I practice often and I find it to be very beneficial for those times when I feel irritated or overwhelmed. This works best in a quiet place with minimal distraction. Calm helps you remember the large zones of the body to focus on. Before beginning, get comfortable in any position that suits you at the time. If possible, lay down. I find this to be the most relaxing but understand it isn't always convenient. Close your eyes, take a few slow, deep breaths. Chest, the first region of the body to concentrate is your chest. Pay close attention to the breathing. Notice how your chest rises as you breathe in and falls as you exhale. Are you breathing fast? or slow. Attempt to regulate the speed of your breathing. Keep it slow and steady. As you regulate your breath, your mind and body are also under your control. You begin to relax. Imagine your stress and anxiety leaving your body with every exhaled breath. After a few breaths, Take a deep breath and tighten all muscles in your chest. Hold this for three seconds. Concentrate on how it feels to be tense. Finally, allow all your muscles to relax and notice the tension leaving your body with each breath. Continue to breathe slowly and evenly as you allow your body to fully relax. Next, we go to the A or arms. Focus on your arms. Using your mind, scan each arm from your shoulders all the way down to each fingertip. How do your arms feel? Are they tense? Relaxed? Warm? Cold? Spend a little time concentrating on just your arms. If you feel any tension, attempt to relax. After a couple of minutes, squeeze each fist and flex all the muscles in each arm tightly. Finally, release the tension in your arms and relax each hand. Take a few breaths and notice the feeling of calmness. Let your body relax as you slowly breathe in and out. Next, go to the L or the legs. 
Focus your mind on your legs from your hips all the way down to your toes. How do they feel? Are they weak, shaky, warm, or cold? Are your legs telling you anything about your level of stress or anxiety? Begin to squeeze your muscles starting at your feet and extending up to your hips. Hold this tension for a few seconds and then release. Notice how you feel when the tension is released. As you breathe, imagine all the tension from each leg and foot leaving your body. Next we go to the M or the mouth. The last area to focus on is your mouth and jaw. Many of us tense muscles around our mouth when we are anxious without realizing it. What expression is your mouth communicating? Is this a result of stress or anxiety? As before, clench the muscles around your mouth and jaw. For a few seconds, and pay close attention to the feeling. Relax your muscles, and with your eyes still closed, smile. Enjoy the feeling of relaxation as your breathing helps to remove stress from your body. Continue to breathe in this relaxed state, thinking about the areas where you noticed evidence of stress and anxiety or tension. As you breathe, imagine the tension leaving your body with each breath. This exercise can be a life-changing skill once learned. With practice, you will be able to close your eyes and imagine stress and tension leaving your body just by breathing. You can train yourself to identify tension in different areas of your body and remove it using your mind. Let's talk about grounding exercises. Heel drops. In this exercise, you will start by standing. Slowly lift up your heels so you are standing on your toes. Return to your standing position. Do this repeatedly in a slow, rhythmic pattern. Pay attention to how your hips and lower back feel while doing this exercise. Each time you return to a standing position, imagine stress and tension leaving your body. Bamboo swaying. In this exercise, you will stand and allow your body to slowly sway back and forth like a bamboo in the wind. The rocking motion helps to relieve tension. If you feel little tremors through your body while doing this exercise, do not be alarmed. This is one of the ways your body releases tension. It is important to take a moment to scan your body after these grounding exercises to see how you feel. Do you feel more grounded? more connected to the earth below? Do you feel less tension or stress? Other ways to practice mindfulness. In today's society, most of us are used to doing more than one thing at a time. This can lead to frustration, anxiety, burnout, and even depression. Trying to take care of our families, get our work done, prepare meals, and keep the house clean can feel overwhelming. One of your goals should be to try to do one thing at a time. This can be learned by taking small steps. Make a list of what needs to be done, starting with the most important tasks. Begin the first task on the list and try to let go of distractions that come your way. I suggest silencing your cell phone and computer email during this time. If you find yourself worrying about different things or thinking about something else, 
take a few deep breaths and imagine those thoughts leaving your mind with your breathing. If you find yourself doing more than one thing at a time, stop and choose the thing on the top of the list and return to it. This can be difficult at first, but will become easier with practice. Tell your intrusive thoughts to leave your mind. Keep doing this until you get results. There are several exercises that can be done to help you succeed. Start to notice times where you are thinking about one thing only. How does this feel? Here are a few things that can be done to practice focusing on just one thing. Try to do these exercises several times each day, especially when you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed. Watch a fire. This can be in your fireplace or a campfire. Don't think about anything, just watch. Watch the raindrops running down a window. Listen to the ticking of a clock. Listen to the ocean waves. Breathe mindfully as explained above. Watch trees blowing in the wind. I also like to take a walk outside and observe nature when I get stressed. Concentrate on something as simple as the beauty of a leaf or the bark on a tree can change your mindset. With practice, somatic mindfulness can become an important tool to fight stress, anxiety, depression, and burnout. We started with breathing, which I believe to be a very important first step to calm the body. When these exercises aren't enough, don't forget about the anxiety formula made by Sunshine Nutraceuticals. This is one of the best-selling products in our store, and our customers love it. For your convenience, I have placed a link to the anxiety formula in the description section of this video. We can all live a more productive, enjoyable life if we take some simple steps to take care of our mind and body. You're watching this because you are committed to be a happier and healthier person. Remember what I've been telling you all. Get plenty of sleep. Drink plenty of water, at least eight eight ounce glasses daily. More if you're sweating from exercise or hot weather. Eat whole foods. Stay far away from fast food, junk food, and empty calories. Exercise. Stay active. Find an exercise you like and do that activity for at least 30 minutes, five days per week. Avoid alcohol and drugs. If you need a reminder why you shouldn't drink alcohol, watch my video on why you shouldn't drink alcohol. Think positively and surround yourself with positive people. Spend as much time with your happiness elements as possible. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you know somebody that you think might benefit from watching this video, please send it to them. Please subscribe to this channel. My name is Pharmacist Michael. Be happy and be 